Well, hi, I'm Andrew from Melbourne Marine Centre. Today, I'm going to take you through the Stacer 709 Ocean Ranger. Now, this Stacer Ocean Ranger that I have behind me is a plate alloy boat. It's five mil thick in the bottom and four mil in the sides. When Stacer manufacture these boats, they use what they call a milk crate system or style of subfloor, uh, which is very strong and robust. Um, underneath the actual checker plate, itself. It also has another frame system to help support that floor as well. So you get a, a nice stiff solid boat when underway. This one features the bow mount thruster plate, which is ideal for running a motor guide or a Minn Kota. Uh, this particular unit is one of the 36 volt uh, motor guides, which is 112 pounds of thrust, which is plenty of heat, uh, power for um, maneuvering this boat or holding a spot whilst out you know, fishing in the rip for a kingfish or something along those lines. It also features the catch and release on the trailer, which makes it really easy to launch and retrieve the boat. Um, the beauty part about this 709 as well is it's got a walk through deck and dash. So, you know, if you're at the boat ramp and you're launching it on your own, it's easy to get up over the bow and into the front of the boat if you need to, or even when it comes to deploying uh, that motor guide there, you know, it's very, very simple process to to um, you know, pull it in and out of the water and, and get underway and use that motor guide. We also feature, feature a drum winch at the bow of the boat, and that's the Muir drum winch. Um, we've got the gray side, two-tone paint on this particular package. There are a variety of colors available from the Stacer range uh, of boats, as, as well as the decals down the side of the boat. You can, you can really choose your own colors if you wish. Um, they come on the Tellwater Alley I-Beam trailer. And this is a 2600 rated trailer, uh, which is 2.6 tonne, and it features the Alco breakaway system as well. Now as we move to the transom of the boat, what you'll find at the back is that transom door with a great big boarding ladder, which makes it ideal for getting in and out of the water if you've been swimming uh, or snorkeling even. Uh, this particular package features the Mercury 200 horsepower V6 four-stroke. It's 3.4 litres in, in uh, capacity and it's also DDS which is digital throttle and shift. Hydraulic steering standard on the 709 Ocean Ranger also. It is Seastar so a reputable brand of hydraulic steering. So we're up inside the 709 Ocean Ranger now. And what you'll see at the transom is this bait station. You've got four rod holders across the back, a couple of drink holders here, and somewhere to drop your knives and bits and pieces in the back there so they don't fly off the back of the boat whilst underway. We've also got this handy uh, tackle storage cupboard, a couple of trays, uh, as well as your tackle trays here, which pull out and locate into this uh, spot here on the front to stop them from sliding and moving around. Handy feature to have over on the right hand side of the boat what you've got is a live bait tank which is absolutely huge. It must be around about that 80 litres in capacity. Plenty of room in there for live squid or slimy mackerels, things like that. There's a burly bucket at the transom of the boat. Um, you've also got down there is your uh, isolation switch for your batteries as well as your circuit breaker for your winch. This one features the deck wash as well. And you've got plenty of room in the, in the cockpit of this particular 709 Ocean Ranger. There's enough to fish two or three people down each side of the boat comfortably without tripping over one another or getting tangled up in other, one another's fishing rods. If we look overhead, um, we've got an aluminium rocket launcher, which features six rod holders as well. So you can get your rods up out the way. And as we move you know, from the transom of the boat forward through into the helm area, um, underneath the driver's seat, you've got a seat box. This seat box features uh, the storage area for the lithium batteries for the motor guide system. Good quality stainless steel latch there as well. Over on the passenger side, we have a, a seat frame, which features one of the Icy Tech split lid eskies which is really handy when it comes to accessing the esky without having to drag it in and out from underneath the seat. Um, there's plenty of room in there. That's a 70 litre esky, so you can put your food and drinks or your catch in there, however you want to, uh, to utilize that, that particular esky. As we get forward and we get to the, uh, the driving position of the boat, obviously, as I mentioned before, you've got hydraulic steering. Your trim tab controls are over on the right hand side. And this particular 709 features a Lowrance HDS 12 inch full touch screen unit, 
which is not only GPS, but also your sounder. Uh, the engine management gauge is just above that, uh, and that's the Vessel View 403 gauge. Now, being that this engine is obviously DDS, it's very smooth shifting. There's no resistance on the throttle because there's no control cables. It's also push button start. So you can leave your key on and just use the on off push button on the side of the control box. Your VHF radio is down on your left hand side. Now you probably heard me mention earlier in the video about the ability to walk through the windscreen and the deck of this 709 Ocean Ranger. It's a very simple process. It's just a matter of folding down that windscreen and then opening up the deck hatch and you can walk right the way through up to the bow of the boat. So when it comes to stowing or deploying the motor guide, it's a very easy process. You step up on the cushions and you're out on the bow of the boat. And in reverse, obviously coming back in, there's a good area and a landing area to place your feet securely and safely. And you feel quite safe through here because it's very high. So you don't feel like you're gonna be bouncing off the side of the boat at all. If you have any other further questions about the Stasa 709 Ocean Ranger or any of the other Stasa models that are available in the range, feel free to give us a call or jump online and go to our website, melbournemarine.com.au. Thanks for watching.